Perfect. Color coding is top tier in this, and I wouldn't have respected either of these players if, if they'd have gone off brand. Anyway, winners um, round one, starting out with best of three on Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's get to it. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to see green really button happy. Jab one and two, going to let his opponent know that that fair is a threat. Should he dare to try and recover higher? He's really hovering over that left-hand side of the stage, just right over the danger zone. Coming in, approaching with that fair. Going to take stage control all over again. He was ready, ready with the parry. Only managed to get the first hit of back air, however. Oh, great spot dodge there from green. Completely negating the threat of that Nair. Not that one, however. Gets Nair into Vine Whip. Doesn't quite convert, however. Up is going to apply even more oh pressure. Grab down throw. Doesn't get the follow up, however. He's well out of the percent window now. So now it's mix up central if red is going to stick with Ivysaur, which they are not. Uh, green green is absolutely just super overcommitting on these. Like these are some very risky landings in options in neutral. Yeah, absolutely. And red has demonstrated to them that they're ready to uh, ready to punish now. So hopefully that conditioning is, uh, is going to set in and uh, green learns their lesson. Oh, I, I would have thought a pivot grab was coming away. there. Not even yeah. going to bother. Just like, I have control of neutral. I have the stock lead. I'm just going to, like, wait. You're just going to approach me. And so far, you haven't been doing all that great of a job of it. So, I'm going to step back. Yep. Okay, so... Charizard. Red wants to be a little bit careful back there. One of one of the common... Tra Ouch! Oh. And that is a two-stock lead. Yikes. Out of nowhere. All right, quick um, switch back to Ivysaur. Green getting into that shield. So That's red good. is sitting around and just happy to walk away when they have the advantage as well. Um, and give up a tiny bit of stage control in order just to drag out this stock for as long as humanly possible until they have the advantage. And this is this is a kind of play style that I personally love. Play defensively until you have the advantage, and then go absolutely nuts. Play extremely defensive. Play play extremely defensively. Always happy to be passive in your approach. Green has been going so deep and so hard on some of these. Manages to get a stock though. Green yeah, is on the board. Yeah, you saw you saw Green there with punishing uh, an errant up smash from Ivysaur. And uh, you can't be letting your opponent smell blood in the water by, by thinking they're going to get away with such hard reads going unpunished. That was some pretty nice ledge pressure, but unfortunate with that nerf. Oh! And, and the F smash going to take it. Knew exactly where Green was going to be with that. Falling down to... Knew they were going to go to ledge, try and drift in, and uh, was waiting there with a fair. Game one, a solid performance from Red right there. The kind of Definitely. things I want to see... I want to see more, I want to see a little bit more patience from Green, but that's unfortunately not how many Yoshi players like to approach this matchup. They do want to, they want to abuse, they want to abuse Ivysaur's, um, Ivysaur's like very, uh, Ivysaur's when they're grounded. So you're going to see Green, you're going to see Yoshi just jumping in with, with Nairs trying to apply pressure, but the problem is Ivysaur does have back air out of shield, which is a quite, quite a fast option for this character and their out of shield. I'm kind of hoping that green adjusts a little bit in terms of their their just their landings were horribly unsafe for the most part. Trying to trying to short hop near uh, a shielding Charizard like that, you're gonna get up smashed immediately. There's just a, yes. a couple of like really fatal flaws in neutral for that game one, and I'm hoping to see some adaptation here for game two. Yeah, we like saw two learning ups. learning the lesson and just not using uh, the the ground pound in neutral as they were. Yeah, ground pound as a landing mix up is fine when it's rare, uh, but as you did as you saw and you brought up there, we saw two or three up smashes fully connecting. Two of which I think took stocks, and one of them almost, almost took the game. So that that is such a strong that is such a strong card of conditioning that now that red has in their hand. So n hopefully, if thing well, hopefully for red, if things go in red's favor, you're going to start seeing green. This is that's just so funny to say. I'm sorry. It's... You're going to if, if you're going to start seeing green pull back on those aerial approaches now and start fainting in. 
and that's what red needs to be looking for now that red now knows that when green's going to going to approach if they're smart they're actually going to be fainting or mixing in some faints and getting the read of when those faints will be could help red pull for, pull even further away again similar to the last match green taking early stage control with grab not not so hot right there gets Ned and goes for a turnaround vine with I love the idea on the oh much better neutral so far from green let's hope this oh no <laughs> hey commentator's curse and that you see you see that option come out just one more time right at the beginning Andy ground pound not gonna work Going for the Nair into Vine Whip attempts, not quite working out in that case. Landing Le uh, is that Leech Seed. Bullet Seed, bullet actually. Seed. Bullet, there we go. That was Shout actually out to the like really, moves. really... You don't see that move often yeah. because it's not that great of a combo tool, but just... I, I guess they just expected uh, Green to release Shield as they did, and so they wanted a really long attack for that. Ooh! Putting absolute sniper-like accuracy with the tip of that vine whip as well. Gonna take the first stop. Uh, you are abs you're you're absolutely right. Um, one of the, it's one of the moves you see I Ivysaur mains use the least, and it's often used as like a lol you didn't expect it. All right, getting some you know, nice damage in with the fire. If you're, Falling he's gonna neck. jump in, he's just gonna get hit by fire. There we go. Again. Zoning really nicely with this flamethrower, keeping green at arm's length, flamethrower's length. Grab, getting all of the pummels in, they possibly can- oh. Green he really wants the these dunks. Green has it... gone for so many dunks. Yeah, hindsight makes geniuses of, geniuses of us all, but I feel that green- <laughs> and... Oh, what a mix-up. All right, do... green, we see you. There we go, they, the, uh, grab re the grab release mind games, I do enjoy seeing that kind of thing. Um, green, um, green is going for the dunks almost every time. I would love to see Green just go for a nair just once. Just, yeah, drag just him once below the stage because that last hit's gonna send him up, right? Just drag yes. him below the stage. Maybe get a stage spike if you're lucky. Well, that's that's with dare, but um, nair is is a is a is a pretty strong tool with nice base knockback on its own, and it's really good at taking opponents' jumps away. If you if you get if you get the timing of the jump correctly, you can put your opponent into a into a Ooh. terrifying position. That was that's not the a bad or... tech chase out of green. Yeah, I was going to say that is about the second or third time that red has rolled in. This one's looking a lot better for green. Oh. Got the if that, read. If that, if that was like the strong hit, that would have been stock. Absolutely. Get up attack. The aggressive Ooh. option out of the, out of a defensive position. You see, I feel like really Green should there. try to stay a little bit more grounded at this point. Oh, Ooh. No. He tried to go above the ledge with an aggressive option when it absolutely was not the right Pokemon to be trifling with in that position. You can never discount Ivy Swarm, man. Especially when you're off stage, you know exactly what 100% of Ivysaur players are looking for in that situation as well. The mix-up, the wheel, of, the wheel of the mind game begins at there, and you start playing mind games around that option. Fishing for back air, high up on the right-hand side of the stage. Oh, just missed times the tech chase with that fair as well. Oh no, see... I, I think we're going to see the same thing that we saw in game one, where it's just like every little hit that... Because Yoshi's going to jump a lot, and Ooh, Charizard can punish into... almost all of those on shield with up smash. Yeah. Nair into, Nair into Flare Blitz is something I like to see as well. Put your opponent into Tumble. Ooh. Hope, hopeful stock attempt, but at this kind of percent lead, you can afford to take them. There's just and so much again... jumping from out of the green. I genuinely yeah. feel like they should be playing like a more grounded game at this point. Absolutely. Especially With versus Charizard. out of shield options. Yeah, out of shield options like Charizard has when that kind of percent. Yoshi is thick, but not that thick. He's the bigger of the reptiles, if you know what I mean. Mm. Fair, going to the green, up into disadvantage, high above the stage. We're seeing some momentum. Ooh. That was unexpected. Okay, oh, so green. Yep, that's gonna do oh, it. Oh, that is going to take it. Yeah, so we saw right towards the end there an adaptation a little bit too late. We saw green start to abuse their so own. So a very game. much stronger game two than game one. I think maybe they just weren't warmed up, you know? 
This is true. Uh, pre-tournament practice. Uh, not the pre-tournament.